this week's Alteryx data prep solution is another chance to practice some reporting tools as well as a couple of spatial as well. So if we come to the solution in Alteryx, then we'll see that we're starting off with the location data for a group of friends and the location data of some theatres, some cinemas, um, where they might all go and watch a movie. What they're looking for is the cinema that has uh, the least distance for the total group of friends. So we're just going to create the points, the spatial objects for each of these locations. We're going to stick them together using a pen tool, making sure that we remember to allow all the pens so that there's an error because we're just going to have for each friend um, each cinema location. And we're going to calculate the distance using the distance tool uh, of each friend's house to each cinema. And we're just going to sum those up so that for each cinema we've got uh, the total distance that would be required to be travelled for all the friends converging on that location. And to get the top three, which is a requirement, then we're just sorting that in a, in a descent, in an ascending order, sorry, so that we want the least um, distance locations to be the ones that we choose, and we're just sampling that. To then make for sure that we're only considering these theatres going forwards, we're just going to join it back up to where we appended those locations um, in the join tool, and then we can see that we've got 33 records coming out of this join tool, since we've got 11 friends, three cinemas uh, for each of those friends, therefore 33. So that's the kind of, that bit took me no time at all, and it's taken me no time at all to explain as well. The tricky bit is now creating the desired um, map that we want to output. Well, that's the bit that I found tricky anyway. So we are feeding this kind of same data set into the mapping tool twice, but we're keeping just the friends locations and then the theatre names. We're kind of separating them out again, grouping them up so that they are just um, one spatial object per label, uh, per theatre name or per friend. And within this map input tool, so you can see that we've got two inputs coming in, like the friends are labelled as number one and the theatre locations are labelled as number two. So this is all just now about how to format uh, this mapping map uh, tool so that it gives us what we want. So we don't touch anything on this first settings pane, but we do go into the data. And coming in at number one, we're going to choose, you know, the friend location spatial object. And we're going to turn on the labels for that, the friend label. Similarly, in the second connection, we're going to make sure we've got the theatre location spatial object selected and the theatre name for the label. Now, to control um, what our points look like, we go into layers and then we add in a points layer of number one. And that's the one that we've got here. We rename that uh, label because by default, it'll just be called hash one. We rename that to be the friend's apartment. And to style it as this little house, then we have to click the little uh, plus symbol here and go into style. And we can choose that. We want to change the point style and change it to be a house. Similarly, um, we do the same for the second point as well. We added it in as a points layer number two. And we've renamed that to be theatre locations. And in the style here, we've not only changed it to be a circle, but we've also changed the colour to be red. And then that's how you get it to look the way that they want in the final solution, which is all the houses plus all the theatres uh, formatted in the way that they want. So hopefully that was nice and quick today, and thanks for listening.